want to do it now. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and then that's fine. Just go ahead and send the rest to Shooklin. The artifact. If you could. Uh, Shooklin's our editor for Inside Games, just so you know. We're going to be oh editing God. down the Xbox Look showcase. It's coming together. That means there's a set built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. It's definitely an eclectic cast of characters. You've got Sarah Moore, waiting to see any kind of soldier and adventurer, now Constellation's <laughs> leader. Mateo, the theologian. It's gonna be. Believes that there's I think this game is gonna be on the order of Fallout 4. So Noel, if you didn't like Fallout 4, okay. If you didn't like Fallout 4, then you're probably not gonna love this. Fallout 4 had some hyper generic writing. Uh, Fallout 4, like parts of it, I think were really great, and other parts of it were not great. So. There's also Vlad, the ex-pirate. Sam Co. The former. Now that's wacky. And Barrett. A space pirate? Completely resistant to my otherwise irresistible charm. Lawrence is. I think Lawrence will enjoy this. I think he'll enjoy this a little bit. A robot just said that he's charming. Not a lot. Completely immune to my charm. I'm looking forward to this because it's going to be stupid. And I can't wait. Yeah, sterile. Like, sterile is fine as long as it's weird. And usually Bethesda Jank makes it weird. That's so, right, yeah, yeah. And the intersection of those two is camp. And that's, that, I love that shit. And like random NPCs barking at you and falling out of the sky and just the halt, prisoner, like all that yeah, shit. It's yeah. great. I, I think they actually may removed all that stuff from this game. It's weird because Fallout 4 kind of did, like it felt a little less jank. It's It's been fading away. Yeah. As their games have gotten like more refined, uh, that like that indie kind of trying well beyond your capabilities and falling a little bit short aspect. Right. Now they're actually landing where they're targeting. And the problem is they're targeting pretty conservatively, it feels. Yeah. They they want space. they want the broadest appeal. So beyond the United Colonies reach. It's interesting because like everyone's like, oh, it's so bland and boring. Like it's gonna sell like a fucking shitload. So I hope so. No, it will. I mean, like kind of bottom line. But I don't know that it'll be good. And with mods, it's gonna make it even better. So Walk around. the capital of the Free Star Collective is Aquila City. The Stone Root Inn is an Aquila City fixture. Ranger relies on judgment and intuition to do what's best for the people. Imagine you walk into a bar and that's what the bartender says. Yeah, I know, I know. A ranger relies on justice and wisdom to do what's best for the people. Almost anything goes. Thanks, thanks, Tex. It's interesting because uh, it's the same thing with like Alan Wake. Everyone was like talking about Alan Wake 2. So I got theories about that though. So Alan Wake 2, we Lawrence and I got to see the demo of Alan Wake 2 yesterday at Summer Game Fest. Are you allowed to talk about it? There might be embargo stuff. Maybe I shouldn't talk. Might I'll want wait. Take embargoes. I'll wait. Just yeah. said fishing. What? Killed, all, right. all right. Hold on. Is there on. fishing? Again. I'm going to be true to my word. Outside the second the I see fishing, we're in. Space, I'm in. Bruce is in. Everybody's in. To explore. But I'm yeah. looking forward to playing this game. Like, I really am. Factions in the galaxy. It... The be there will have been a lot of money invested in the first couple of hours of the game, and I'm excited to see that. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's always fun to see hundreds of people trying their hardest to make, like, the perfect thing. Make the volume louder. I like how you... I like how you type that in all caps as though you had to scream over the Make the volume louder! I mean it worked. Fun. It belongs to the Crimson Fleet. It always has. But like I said, we're going to talk over all of this. Yeah, it's it's a volume leveling issue. This part is actually just quieter than the, the showcase was. Yeah, we are we are we will be talking over all of this. A slice of humanity's future. Um, whenever, whenever that's done uploading, would you send that? Oh, it's still seven minutes. Yeah. I don't know why it's taking so long. It's faster than that. Throughout the galaxy, I guess it was pretty there's long, so huh? many things to see hour and, ten? and stories to experience. But the most important story is the one that you tell. I'm the Am I a fan of No Man's Sky? Yeah, I played a bunch of No Man's Sky. Creation. Enjoyed it. And I think people are going to be really excited when they see all of the improvements we've made. One of the biggest overhauls was done through our character generation system. We scanned a wide range of faces from different age groups and ethnicities. And by mixing oh, and matching out the data, I wish my we face was in Starfield. That'd be so cool. Diverse characters. Like we just use that exact system yeah, just like to create some random all the NPC and walking NPCs around. You're see That'd be great. Great. So any character you see almost always is a character you could make yourself. In the future, when AI yourself. scrapes all the pictures on the internet, yeah, it'll just grab you and put you in a video game. It's true. You won't know. Hey, come on, come on. Boy, okay. do you think Take in our lifetimes easy. we're gonna run you into ourselves in a game because uh, no AI scraped damage. our like, YouTube videos? That sounds awesome. Out. And just kind of like recreated us as NPC models. You know who you are? 
New recruit. How's there no, that's a good, uh, good point. How is there no, no drinking rule for when Any AI is mentioned? Look familiar. Is there not? Uh, it's like still a charged topic. You no, start like your no character creation journey it's as true. though you're Maybe cycling through employee records. You'll pick from a lineup of 40 like presets, and that's that'll be your cool. starting point. Where's my randomized button? Your journey from there I don't want any of this dumb shit. Where's my randomized button? To be. This new system Actually, has yeah, more to offer I need that randomized. Than ever before. It's, randomized. it's also the simplest character generation system we've ever had. We let the player get as close as possible to it's make the best whatever the they want. With the I want R for randomized. R, D, D, R, D, 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 R. Aesthetic and makeup, cram flashes, a helmet on this scars, monstrosity piercings, going space anyway. So <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Exactly. <laughs> I think it's the most fun to use. Oh, that look at the smile. Is more than just how you That's look. that space this pirate charm I know about. This is also you start to decide <laughs> who you want to be. That's where backgrounds come in. Backgrounds give you a bit of backstory and start okay. Where's my luck? Here we skills. go. I want luck. Luck is 10. To dusty. I want luck is 10. Now, still has a let's, get, pool let's get into some hardcore RPG stats. Someone hit me with the luck. The well, 10 luck. I know anything about Bethesda games. Yours Character build is going to be critical be to your gaming experience. Talking to some guy. It'll dictate every single second of what you do. Beast hunter to help track down a monster. Fine. I oh. probably should stick to professionals anyway, given what happened the last time. We're also giving you the option to customize your build even further by letting it's always the same. Is that the only one who thought that face was weird? Are completely I mean, no. I don't, don't like the way he stared at me. It definitely looks weird, but like that's the way all of these RPGs always play. Yeah. They always do this. They look you straight on. He's and they all go, blah, 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 blah. I hate it. Join your crew and give you it never, ever feels natural. And that's not only Bethesda. That's like every other RPG. It's a fucking Bioware, the same deal. Mass Effect, it all looks like trash. Every molecule. Okay, you've got your Hero of Kvatch weirdo. That's fun. That's the first, like, okay. Okay, we got a little humanity, a little bit. We got ourselves a visitor. I just want to get weird. Like, yeah, like, exactly. Like, it doesn't even have to be funny, just odd. Because I chose my breath, weirdo. Religion is them. Okay, I'm waking up a little bit. Any issues? That better. There's if if, great if one fucking meme references is, is the only spice this game has, mercenaries will that's gonna be a wolf and try to kill you. That's fishing. No back. matter what you choose, Vin Diesel. There will be plenty of ways for you to tell your story. Cyber Runner. You that's you. Trait, that's me. There are ways to do that too. What a view! It's a feast for the eyes. Off we go to another adventure. We'll let you discover that on your own. All right, all right. Reference it twice. Though. How many times you can kill NPCs? That's what they're implying. Yeah, uninterrupted gameplay. It's it's like what two hours long? Once you've built the perfect. You said it was an hour and forty five minutes long. Really Some people begin. like looked at the VOD. We I took guess, what we loved about it. skills and oh, from our previous YouTube games data. and put them together. But to surely in that time period, system. they can just show like a five minute Each gameplay. Each time you level right? up. Space, land on a planet, do a quest, go back to space. To unlock I don't think so, skills. no. I think they're going to do like this, which is like, here's the tech tree. Ranks and then, like, unlocked by completing we'll show you how it affects your gameplay. With that skill. All right. Ranks. Challenges become increasingly difficult. I was saying this to Lawrence earlier, but this game has to come out in September. If they're showing us two hours of this, right? It's got to. Yeah. There's no way they, they delay this after showing us the Starfield Direct. I mean, just making this is a lot of work. Skill. Yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't go to all this effort to market your game if you're not locked in. Locked into a launch plan. Level 80. Out of the gate. I'm boost packing everywhere. So, wait a minute. So you spend experience on I like perks? maxing out my physical tree so I can get neuro strikes and just punch my way through combat. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That one's okay. a lot of fun. It's getting there. I'm actually really Investments excited that they're showing that. Ragdolls flying around. I'm it could be floppier. a stealth player. So, I'm out there. Stealth Archer. Everyone. A favorite part about being stealthy is slowly creeping through vents like you're in a movie and then jumping out and springing on people. Whenever possible, I like to talk my way through situations. This area's off limits. Okay. Persuasion. Fine. Some, I'll issue you an access card. Some vague more of a running gun sim player. stuff. I like That's doing cool. that death from above thing where I boost But that means that, like, every base has to down. have... Has to have paths that recognize all of those skills. I mean, like... It's not every base, but a lot of, a lot of the, stuff the parts of these games do. Like, they have, like... 
they'll have a like a persuasion check or they'll have a like a lot like a door check where like sometimes you can you know like cyberpunk yeah, you can force yeah, it yeah. open or whatever you know there will always be a vent there's always a vent yeah you exactly. just have to find it exactly exploration is a key aspect of all our games in starfield there are full star systems with new life resources and adventures great can't wait to i love adventures yeah can't wait to get me some of those adventures our team worked hard <laughs> are they to strike a balance between fun and realism we That's studied data from nasa that looks great and, a multitude of I, and again i love space us make the world i'm very excited about believable. space from the way we approached planetary atmospheres yeah. to the way we placed biomes based on the planet's distance from the sun. Once we had created a grounded world, we could start looking at all the things that make that world fun. Last time I played a space when game, you leave a planet and head I into walked space, out of my ship and I was like, this biome doesn't match the distance from the sun. You'll be navigating <laughs> asteroid fields, <laughs> having chance An amateur hour? interesting strangers, dog fighting in space, oh. exploring derelict ships. Space combat. It's all out there. Ultimately, it's about rewarding your curiosity because whether it's on the surface of a planet, the alleys of a city. Wait, there were damage on this finally? All right, I'll drink, yeah. What? Why? You never know. Was it just like find. a different foot? Did it pop out of a dude? Or was it because of an explosive barrel or something? Will there be titty mods, though? I mean, it's a... Yes. The answer is yes. But, like, doesn't it take a while for the toolkit for Bethesda Space to release Space exploration is possible. Uh, I don't Maybe know. Maybe we'll talk ship. about that here. Your ship is almost like having another character or home you can make all yeah, people your will, own. Yeah, people will make it happen. I think you'll be blown away by the amount of stuff you can do. You can buy a ship. I'm sure you can find something you like. It's, it's interesting because this is ship. exciting to me, but I don't necessarily want to go and through to the rigmarole of like their UI and all that bullshit of adding things and to the ship. And it all starts in space. You just want, you just want to fly around. Like I, I like the fact that you can customize Every it, but I don't know how much time I want to spend customizing a ship. Sell yeah. And modify ships. I mean, I, I imagine that stuff will just flow the more Maybe you play. Maybe right? I mean, I hope so. Or the, the more stuff you get into, you'll just. Then you might round out your ship roster like forcing space. To run to cargo missions, put on, or yeah, even put on do a little smuggling. Stuff. For now, though, we're going to take our starting ship, the Frontier, and make some right. changes. Okay. You can customize All and right. I feel like everything this is, this you is good see here. Time. Yeah. And you have two ways next. to do that. Hit it. You can quickly Guys, I'll sit here and talk about how excited like I am about or spaceships. Or you can deep and dive changing into things. The builder mode. Here, you can change anything from the systems to the look and layout. Adding a new habitat module can give you more room for crew. I'll say, you know what? I'm excited Adding about this. can change your ship's overall silhouette. But I also don't want the An game to force me to do this stuff. Longer distance space jumps. So I don't want them to be like, it's like you in Fallout 4, they're like, all right, build a base and like, to get make sure you put a bed out and all this other bullshit that I was like, no, I don't want to do any of that. Build with don't just affect your so hopefully the stats. game will not be like, okay, now add a bunch of stuff to your ship. And I'm like, fucking no. As long as it only makes me do it once. Displaying your weapons. Starfield's in-game ship. Yeah, I want to buy like pre-made ships. Own look and feel Again, I want a randomized button. Ship. From living quarters to cargo holds, mess halls, and control rooms. Oh my gosh, gummy ships in Kingdom Hearts is the worst, the worst thing in the world. Our modified Frontier is a practical ship, but with a little creativity, your ship can look like almost anything you want. It's a bit odd, but one of my favorite ways of customizing ships is um, I make them look like animals. The HMS. Platypus, that's cool. I mean, like that's really neat. It. Hopefully, like this will probably require some sort of currency to do this, but I hope it's not. And we've done spiders. You know, a lot. We've done mechs. Yeah, everyone's gonna make a cock ship. So it's really whatever. Everyone's gonna make a penis for is. sure. Oh, that's so cool. And while you can build your home among the stars Whoa. the way you want to, she made a fucking transformer. The only person who will call your ship home. Like they were showing what you could do Registry with making ships and like captain. people made dumb looking ships, which is cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. The frontier is fueled and ready, captain. 
Some of the members of Constellation can join you on your journey. Oh, here we go. These companions can serve on your more about the colorful I love companions. I love them. Need that dialogue. I want the game to play itself. I do. I do. I. I don't want to. I want to stand back and watch them shoot things. Companion comes with their own valuable skills for your ships and outposts. As well as unique that quest weird, lines. Man. Looks like Eventually, it's been on. some friendships <laughs> might blossom Yowza. into romance. I don't know that I've ever really loved anyone except you. <laughs> and if you're looking for a little extra, <laughs> I don't know I've really loved. Always I don't know. Really really loved loved it. Except you. I'm gonna cry. Someone like me. I'm just. I'm You'll pretty spunky and sassy. By the way, the that world. implies that there's romance in this there game. There might be sex scenes. There's been a lot of implications, but I don't want to believe it. There might be sex scenes. That was Adam Sonny Jensen. Yeah, it was. And their unique skills will affect uh, how they run. I can't wait. I can't wait to see my uh, companion. And just fall like in love. companions, this counts as jank. By the way, I'm that's ex I'm excited. It does. Yeah. Yeah. You're actually. Costco, for instance. You're you're 100 right, Bruce. My my enjoyment is going up. I was actually excited for the companions because it can go one of two ways. Either it's good or it's bad, which is good. You might die. Ah. I still want to give it almost a humanoid personality, so I elongated the limbs. This tends to make him feel more human-like and give him a little personality. It is a shame. Exploration requires so much bloodshed. <laughs> Using the shipbuilding Thanks, Tars. and crew selection really features in Starfield, you'll be able to build and captain the ship of your dreams. Street Fighter character. And now, I don't know, Bruce. When you sky. look at some of the monstrosities that Street Fighter Six is cranking out, <laughs> the character creator in Starfield. What if I? What if you could be a greased up, like hyper thighed mo monster? It'd be in amazing. Space. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. As soon as I play this game, I'm not convinced the sliders will let you get away with that. They, I guess they may mods. not. They may not. Mods. Yeah, but mods. What you need, yeah. yeah, Elias. We're two putting fixes. you in the cockpit of your very own spaceship. They're this. telling you that you can do to be pretty much anything. Do I still think this is better really than PlayStation? Cool yeah, the Xbox showcase was better than PlayStation. For me. Space for me. Should be for me, the play PlayStation showcase had like the bigger brands. Feel like you're there you go, the yeah. bigger brands, like every step of the more way. traditional sequel big games. Xbox had a good spread We've of surprises. that sense of control cool to ship combat. Man, I'm just, just bummed about Hellblade. Like weapons. if they showed no, some yeah, ripping combat. Nothing. That was nothing, man. It's a complex dance. I, I'm down with tech. Skills like, and our power allocation I kind of miss E3 trailers. Boosting power E3 trailers that, that make flex tech. Faster. And that's what that did. But there's a way to do that and also power tear it up a little bit. Drives will yeah. shorten the amount of time it takes before. I wonder if they're the really just, they just. I just want to know what game it is. <laughs> Shish. Yeah, I know. I have no idea. It looks to me like it got a war. Power to your weapons and shields you know? means you're yeah. ready for a fight. Yeah. You should always be on your toes because I don't know how you make a there. unreliable narrator psychedelic narrative work over the runtime of God of War though. Like it, it worked really well in Hellblade because it was like you're in or you're out. It's a it's a, like a trippy experience. It's a it's a somewhat direct narrative that's open to interpretation. But the if it's like a full runtime skill, thirty hour game, you have to have rules. You have to have like of the ship you target. You have to have a setting that makes sense and is internally consistent in some way. Yeah. I don't think I don't think people can handle. Oh, you can you can flight sim it. Oh, you can target subsystems. Like I like that a lot. That's right. After Lawrence and I get paid to ship, shill for Microsoft. You can loot the remains from your cockpit. I know, right? I mean, we did you go to a, we did go to a Microsoft. That you into we went to a Microsoft party last night. I had two beers. <laughs> but you could also take a more personal there you approach. Go. By and, docking and with the enemy vessel. Was that space fats? People were saying space fats? Oh, yeah, it did kind of slow down. You I love that. Yeah, I love that. I hope it's always cool. I feel like... I feel like space combat's going to get really control of an enemy ship, really fast. It's yours. I think you're right. But that's the way I feel about it, too. But to your fleet, I guess I guess you can have, like, boss port. ships. The problem with with like space, space flight is, way is that more it's than like for your life. you're either behind somebody or you're just turning to get behind them. That's right, yeah. And, just and like then people just do side, this. There are plenty of uh, sites to you're see always like turning to, to, to try to shoot directly at the NPC. Adventure. And either they just let you like do it or they turn to try to hit yards. you. You know what would be really cool? What? I don't know if they're going to do this, but it would be really neat if Starfield would allow you to have other ships as your companions like a wing in yeah in combat. That would be sick. Okay, that would be cool. I don't know if they're going to do that. That would be sick. dock with a gigantic Making me think about Free Space 2. Oh, is that what it is? Well, that was that was a wild game where uh, 
It was like a space fighter or where you had a, a you had like four, you had three ship ships stars. in your squadron, but you had two more squadrons you could command. And you actually had to like deck them out as like bombers and interceptors and fighters well. and stuff oh, sick, yeah. and give them individual commands about what to do trade, so that you could actually accomplish missions. Or maybe even Good stuff. That's like the only game I know that, that has done when that. When I'm playing, I generally go crazy. I also have to say, like, I am um, I the, take over ships, the graphics of this game and the space and stuff like that looks appealing to me. Like, I'm it looks neat. I like it. I like the way it looks. I like space. I like sandwiches. I'm excited about that. Start, so, like, if you don't like that, I understand. But for me, personally, I, I really dig it. Some I, strangers might be looking for Starfield a will be the greatest game ever made. Darkness of space. <laughs> if I stranger, fill a room with sandwiches and go to warp, food. and it kills me immediately. Over, yeah, and they all, like, by. hit yeah. you in the face. Some of the best ones <laughs> are the ones you discover. <laughs> a on quantum own. sandwich entanglement. <laughs> Baloney just fires through the my brain I and I'm dead. The thing I most about Starfield is that it is a Bethesda game through and through. It's really about going to places, yeah. meeting interesting people, and getting sidetracked on zany adventures. Zany! So then, Show me he one said, of them. He said zany. That you're I can't wait for the wacky new story. You're human. Okay. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. The utter... DNA they, is so why did they cut away from the NPC in the middle of a dial? I know why, because... It didn't look it that good. So yeah. cool but that's like, they're telling on themselves a little bit here, and I'm a little... There are over I'm a little bit worried, but I'm also excited. Just yeah, me too. Me too. If all the NPCs it. do that, because if they're all broken and dumb, yeah, exactly. I'm so glad you're here. I'm fine with that. Like, oh, that's the space I want to go to. Okay, I think Breaking the Bethesda magic is back. It cool. looks like it is. It they're really trying does. their hardest to not show it to you, but I think it's there. We want you to feel hopeful. Yeah, I need that jump scare NPC conversation. I'm just rifling through my inventory, and all of a sudden it's hot. We're giving you a massive playground and a ton of toys. And just stuff. setting you free. One hundred sixty-five XP. I like how there's a meter in the middle of the screen. Everybody, we were it has to be directly so in your line of sight at all times. Yeah, because you have to know how much XP you got. Show you something a, a little bit different. Yes. You know, we put so much detail into our game worlds. Yeah, we're we the, the we're, we're the alien to bring that green alien broads that I want to bang. We love you, Todd. Love you, Todd. And for this the game, best. Uh, we've done a watch. It is the Constellation right. Explorer's Watch. Right. Um, this is the oh watch. Oh my gosh! How much do I give Todd for this? That acts as part of your HUD, where it's the. How much do I give Todd game? for it? Okay. Okay. No, I know, but can I buy it? it in real life. Yeah, I think give so. You I'll give Todd three thousand dollars. Where is it? We've also designed this really cool. Where's my watch? Case that it comes with uh, Eastvon. Yeah, we really took as much care and designed this case as we did the watch. Someone get me that watch. The detail in the game totally translates to this. Inspired by the cases that the astronauts used during the Apollo era to bring back huh. samples from the moon. It's got an intricate locking mechanism. How much do you think authentic, heavy, comes with a No, I was going to say like $300. Patch, more NATO more. Strap, oh, a smartwatch? And the overall isn't that, isn't this, this, I assume this is the collector's edition of the game, right? It exists in the world. It's got to be. Starfield universe. Does it work? 350 It works, right? It's a thing? It works in real life? Or is it just a replica Three fifty. sits there? We actually have something else. Now that we're part of Xbox, we get to work with the amazing people on the Xbox hardware team, and together we have created this custom oh. limited edition. Oh, yeah, I actually I like that it's controller awesome. a lot. I like that. Now, you know, ooh, the, ooh, the accents we are all right. Because it's oh, they're saying the 500 for the watch. Spaceship. That's actually not too bad. Not that, it is a real working watch, right? right? We've created the first ever not? custom headset. Oh, headset! <laughs> and this is a perfect pairing with that controller. <laughs> okay, it works. All right. So you know what's weird to me, um, with as as like trying to dial into the, the coolness of space flight. Why isn't there like an extensively chunky takeoff sequence? Maybe there is. They haven't shown it, but like shouldn't you be like hitting switches and chunk 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 like getting things ready, panels lighting up, ship rumbling under you? They show them like over and over hitting switches and stuff. I just don't know if like they did show that. Oh, never mind. I just don't. But I also don't know if like. Have they animated this sequence of like taking no. off? No. All right. Well, that's something they're showing it, kind of. But then they cut away. It, is that what it is? You see an external shot of your ship taking off, and then it and, and they cut away. Yeah. Loading screen. We always put so much care into all those little details. That yeah, they, they didn't actually show the entire thing though. But Starfield is just a Bethesda Game Studios world. It's a Bethesda Game Studios that's what it is. galaxy. 
Well, so I guess they need to show the. They want you to see your ship. Well, because the we want to give right, but also Todd was saying that there is. Level. They don't have the landing freedom sequence, right? So like, you're not going to get the sequence of taking off fully, and, and you're not going to get the landing sequence fully, which sucks. I think that sucks. The players didn't care about it. Great way. That's what he said, but he's wrong. I care about it. Well, I guess I guess. No, I'm not unimpressed at all. Actually, I really like it. It's cool about this whole system that we we generate the planet itself as a procedural content, but the handcrafted content itself comes as the player explore. Our I found a cave. The planet as the planet Just a cave. <laughs> this is cave. Of terrain. The hand of God that, reached down system and that carved this cave. Interested in locations for the player to explore, creatures to encounter, or in plants to pick up. Okay. It allows us to add that touch of environmental storytelling that the Vesta is known for. Skeleton next to a gun. <laughs> That's what Skyrim was. It was always the same. It was a, yeah. it was a skeleton with a sword next to it. You're like, oh, it looks like he died in here. There are skeletons so here. If your yeah. friends were to visit the same planet that you had, oh, you would have a different story to tell. Mm. Okay. The story is I ran down a hallway and shot some dudes and got loot. I'm not being critical at all. I think it. I think it looks awesome. I'm the critical one. Lawrence is being more critical than I am, but regardless, I think it's. I'm. I'm super excited about this. Oh, hey, they explode! Yes. That was cool. That's what I want to see. Let me some firecracker enemies. Kill those pirates. That was a lot of guns. Just holding like 16 guns. Frame rate doesn't look great, by the way. It looks like maybe 45 ish. Yeah. Not, not 60. It's up to you. How game. you want to interact with each planet. The game's Whether got you want good artistic direction. And see what you can find. Uh, the, the exteriors look really good. Harvest resources and the interiors be on your look way. pretty, you know, for mining lasers. Or simply take in the views. That's gorgeous. Yeah, it looks great. Scanner, you'll chart the uncharted and discover exotic This is very much No Man's Sky, is what that is. If you have the skills, you can even figure out that certain creatures and plants. You can build an outpost and produce resources from those plants and animals. You can get experience and rewards for fully surveying planets and fully what? surveying a whole system. <laughs> what are you? It, it was just a weird sentence. Oh. It was like, you see the animals and the creatures well, we and you make outposts and you get the we resources. Really to think of them as natural. I mean, it's so mad right. sky, yeah. All right, okay. We didn't want alien monsters. We wanted native wildlife. Something you've never seen before. When it comes to our exteriors, when the sun moves, all that light is calculated in real time through the atmosphere. Our biggest goal for lighting with Starfield was to make the game feel more filmic, to use lighting and color to really make it feel more cinematic. Okay. There's some nice gradients. I like, I like that kind of stuff, the exterior of like a moon or something. Yeah. Cool if they did a time-lapse shot. Just like standing outside for and like, yeah, watching cycle. the sun go around it. It's calculated in real time. Real time. Okay. I mean, certainly because it's on Game Pass, it'd be worth it to just fly to every planet, step outside. After and some like, exploring, oh. you can find Made a spot it. Yeah. to set up a base camp. It would be cool if you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't fly an atmosphere anywhere on any planet. That would be a really cool and way to see all these modules come in and all shapes and landscapes. sizes, filling nah, all different purposes. They're not purposes. doing the Star Citizen thing. You can thing. even live in them. Assign crew and so companions well. to work yeah, in your for added bonuses <laughs> and set up I mean, extractors. I mean, well, I guess no one's guy you kind of have to dip up and out of, like in and out of the atmosphere. Something cool we have this time is we have a new fly cam where you can toggle between on the building or All you right. can now I'll use I'll just go into build mode and then scroll camera, around, around the entire planet. plan out larger parts of the outpost <laughs> and placing those larger halves. So that way right. you can really outpost. plan your structures you and what the overall no. feel of your outpost is. This is not like fun to me at all. But I know people do. I know there are people that like to do this. things much easier. I could see that. You find like a really nice cliff face, a good view. This is mine now. Is it's on Game Pass going to be the go to cop out for MS Studios going forward? Uh, no. I mean, Hi Fi not, Rush is worth money. It's also not a cop out. Pentiment's worth money. It's not a cop out because it's $10. Yeah. So it's, it's not value. a cop out. If they, it's if a they real released thing. a game for 
ten dollars, that would certainly and factor into whether or not it's in worth your yeah. to utilize any resources into. you find or already have. Mod your weapons to adapt them to your playstyle. Yeah. Different weapon like sites building? and scopes. They do. I, I'm not crazy about it, but I mean, I know a people do. So. Of grips yeah. and barrels. That's never been my thing. Different I mean, ammunition. Like four leaned into that. So it's 76. That's right. Like, right. But it really works for something. Oh, that frame rate. Yeah, All the frame rate's the out there. there. And that's in a hallway, pressure. Bruce. That should be like. They might. Maybe that was earlier footage. You can also choose well, to no, I think, I think with melee weapons. I don't Combat think the really? frame rate is, is very good here. I think it's always a delicate balance between like what's realistic, what's sim, and what's Hollywood. And I think we sort of err on the side of like what's fun for the player. Like, Starfield. there's no it way they're, the they're showing this. It cut away as soon as the explosion happened. Yeah, there's no way they show this gameplay the from an Xbox. Fluid. Like, this has to be from a PC. Yeah. Why would they ever show the game it on an Xbox great. versus a PC if the PC was better? We probably have more mods and more weapons in this game than <laughs> I want to say any other game we've done before. There's a lot of variety. Oh, I asked this before. I can't remember, though. Is this is this the first Upgraded gear shooter that the Bethesda has ever made? to pay attention to mm. when engaging in combat. It's always interesting when a developer does guns based on your environment. I mean, Fallout has guns. I guess, yeah. Gravity is yeah, different Fallout has for guns. each planet. Yeah. And boost packs yeah, are Fallout. excellent what for it? getting around. What are all those guns? I was just stuck and in Elder Scrolls mode. You yeah, you're stuck in Skyrim. Combat. Although, I don't know. Sometimes you'll even it's, feel it's like it's not. That's flying. why you use that. Yeah, that's why. You, yeah. I mean, they haven't shown vats here, so it looks like there's probably not going to be vats. I would assume that they'd be like, and we've got vats. Zero they would yeah. Environments highlight this for Starfield. Challenge. There's got to be like a, a cyber skill in zero G. Will where you activate your backwards did you bring, and it slows down time. Energy weapons on the other hand. I love. By the way, I love vats. So like, if this game has vats, I'm super excited about that. We also have even if it like sort of obscures bad gunplay. I think vats is awesome and funny. Yeah. Each barrel has its own. Really brilliant laser way of merging first person shooting with serious how Fallout damage. worked before that. And I think they even use it in uh, Outer Worlds. Oh, did they? Yeah. I, mean, yeah, I guess you technically they kind of came up with that with first, two fists. Quote unquote, but. Uh, or you like more yeah. compact weapons, it's a good like system. pistols and submachine guns. Any, and even Dragon Age, like any or system where it's like you can just pause things or, and, and survey the. You used to be able to pause games. <laughs> they hit the start button and be like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes in Diablo 4, I'll be like, I gotta pee. And then I'll hit start and I'll get up and then a zombie will slap me yeah. in the face. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, that dude uppercutted an alien. That's pretty cool. I like the thought of like what they were showing earlier where like, they're like, I go through the game and punch everything. Like, Versus, you know, like, I go through the game and hack everything. Like, I like that a lot. That's that's one of my favorite things about Bethesda RPGs, or I guess these sorts of RPGs. Wonder, Cyberpunk is very very much like that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I wonder if you'll be able to combine all of those skills on one character, you know? Or if they'll have, like, a skill cap. I think it's probably a skill cap, where, like, you have to pick one, one way to go. There he goes. Love that. All right, we're getting there. Love that. They know. They know people love that. We're getting there. What magic? Here we go. NASA punk. Thanks again for being with us. Wait a minute. Today. Hold on. They show some magic. It's going to be a fucking relic, time, and it's going to have the here. wisdom of the ancients in it. You're going to touch it. You're going to get fucking. Oh, I love that, though, but they're going to fuck here. with the physics, yeah, Lawrence. It'll be ridiculous. I hope. Dragon shout. Moments Shit. That only a game uh, yeah, you're right, though. That is that is the, like, when throw I enemies think around. About yeah. It really is the people here. This game what they didn't show was all the ragdolls going blah, 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 like back in the hallway. <laughs> well, that's what I, I mean. Like they didn't show that because the game would crash or go to five frames per second. Or something. <laughs> yeah, so let's yeah. hear some of their favorite moments. I love the way that science. our final combination of all <laughs> of the new tech has come together to create dragons in space now. <laughs> space dragons. You are Dovahkiin's great, great, great <laughs> grandchild. I love the creatures, the exploration, every biome Neil is different. The Dovahkiin. word that comes to mind <laughs> is vast. I like to use our photo mode to Bruce, take do you remember the musical artist photos. Fast? No. I just love that an acronym feel of discovery. I think it stands for and, wow, I can't visual audio sensory theater. theater. How do you feel I'm about that? most excited. I had no idea. Outpost building Good for systems. you. <laughs> My favorite part is every time thing. you step out on a planet, 
It's a unique experience. Someone look that up. Maybe they're working on Starfield. You spend all this time <laughs> building your ship, and you see it on the landing pad. These things are gigantic. It's the kind of thing. I mean, it's really neat to see a landing pad, else. but also, There's I would love to see it flying the through the sky. Over in the distance, and going. I know the gravity's low here. I think oh, I can make that jump. My favorite part is biomes, spaceships, and I design, did. planets, the day-night cycle. <laughs> Those details matter to me. Diplomacy, exploration, freedom, the ending, Vasco. Obviously. I love the robot so much. The incredible amount of worlds we created. Sniper rifles, come on. Lever action, rocket launcher, brain sprout. I love, but some people might find creepy. I don't know. I know it's right, Ben. The thing that I enjoy most about the game is the freedom to be who oh, you want to do cool. what you want to do. It's what you've come to expect from a Bethesda title, but on a much freedom. bigger scale. That's sick. I love I love those uh, vistas. I love those in every space game. Any okay, space game has us, rings around a planet, and I'm excited. Starfield and make your own special moments. It's not. <laughs> every time an NPC was talking, I I enjoyed. No fishing. No fishing. Six out of ten. <laughs> the freedom to not fly in space. At least they're still showing the uh, release date, which is good. Yeah. yeah, it is good. I'm glad about that. Me too. That means that we're going to get that in September. They better not delay it. Everybody will play it and have fun. Please don't delay it. Yeah. Oh, Shattered Space first story expansion. Constellation skin pack. So there it is. There's not going to be a fucking conclusion there's to the a, story then. There's the Constellation edition. Thanks for telling it, tel telegraphing that early. <laughs> the rings, Bruce. This is space relics. Do they They say Game Pass? They're, oh, by the way, they're going to raise Game Pass, the price of Game Pass, before Starfield comes out. So get ready for that. I think they're still in burning money territory. All right, okay. I, I'm almost positive they're going to raise money. But if it has to be good. Sorry. Like... Not to say it's not going to be, but they have to have a hit first, right? Oh, you mean like and I then they and the then they price. raise the price? Yeah. yeah, they get everybody in, and so they get like, everybody on like a, a sticky games of service title. You can't stop playing. You think they like release it and then in October they go, okay, now it's uh, fifteen a month or twenty a month or whatever? Maybe. That'd be pretty. The first time that happens is gonna be rough though, especially after like a big RPG. Oh, it's gonna be a big deal. You get people playing for like 200 hours, and it's like you don't have the game, and also your save is locked on our platform. Cautiously optimistic. Great place. Great, great thing. Yeah, I mean, like I, again, if it's if it's like Fallout 4, I'm, I'll be fine with it. As long as it's not 76. As long as it's not 76, we're good. I didn't even get that far in Fallout 4. I was trying to do melee. Like, I was actually trying to do a punch build. Uh, and I ended up, like, punching. And I was like, I'm just punching everything. I, there's yeah. an enemy. I go, boosh, they die. And that was it. That was the whole game. Yeah. Just boosh. So I kind of... It was almost like hacking in Cyberpunk, to be honest. Every enemy like, too easy? Yeah. yeah. Interesting lineup, though. A lot of variety. I don't watch it. <laughs> okay. I would high high highs and low lows. Well, oh. mid mid mids. No, no, I'm really low. I would say. So you so you liked PlayStation more than Xbox? Because you were excited about PlayStation at the end of it. Yeah, PlayStation had more comfortable delights. This had more like new things that looked pretty cool. Uh, mm -hmm. The problem is they're all like they're, a lot of the newer, cooler things were still just style, like the Fable trailer. That, that's just a trailer, yeah. A cool trailer. Still have no clue what the game is. That's and right, yeah. That was most of it. Whereas the PlayStation showcase, like they were games. They and showed they were games. Real. Yeah, no, it's true. And they they were playing like Dragon's Dogma Two was a game, and you could tell. Um, Be I mean, beyond that though, there weren't like they showed a bunch of games that I didn't give a fuck about. So like, <laughs> like it was neat that they showed gameplay, but I don't care. Um, so. Uh, actually, will you go full screen so we can wrap this up and then send oh, it to sure. Shooklin? Yeah, good idea. Uh, is that it? 
Hey, look at that. You did an inside games wipe and everything. Sure did. Good for you. Good tactic. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see what the internet thinks, but I, I enjoyed this uh, showcase, I think, a little more than PlayStation. A little bit. I think I did, too. It was longer. I think, right, there were more games, I feel like. That sounds right to me. Hmm. Cyberpunk looked really cool. But you're totally right. They, they didn't show gameplay as much as they did in PlayStation. Yeah. It was like, I guess, I guess if you buy into the vibe and style of it all, the Xbox One was better. But I just like seeing games. Like, I want to see what the game is and, and mm -hmm. show me the mechanic. Like, the, truly, the fact that they didn't have, in, even in the Starfield thing, just a four-minute uninterrupted gameplay loop. Yeah, yeah. You had two hours. And, and if you're confident in your game, it was so hyper-cut. Uh. Well, no, you're right. I mean, like they had to. Also, that was well. It wasn't two hours. It was only one hour. So, oh, was it the um, Starfield thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my bad. Then. Yeah, it went from actually it was I less than an hour. That. I should stop saying that. Yeah, it was less than an hour. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no. I mean, you're right. I think they wish they had just been like, here's you landing on a planet. Here's what you do. You know, like get out. You're like, get a quest. Go and shoot some people. Get the thing that you wanted for the quest. I agree. I they, I wish they'd showed that loop. So. It's good though. I wanted to see Hellblade. I want to know what kind of game it's going to be. Boy, hell, that Hellblade I still thing don't was know. Boring. <laughs> that was it, real boring. It didn't have anything that Hellblade One didn't have, which is her wandering in caves, listening to spooky voices. Yeah. I mean, the tech was cool, the reflections in the water, and I'm like, all right, all right, I'm into that. But again, you can do that and also show something. Uh, I, I still have faith. I'll have faith until the game comes out and is bad. But uh, I mean, it's going to be yeah. like a lot of people were saying this, but we already know this. It's going to be made up by the mods. And I, and again, that is, in my opinion, like everyone's like, oh, like Beth Bethesda makes bad games, but modders make good games. And that's not actually not true. They make the game available for modders. So they really do that. They could lock it down and be like, no, you can't do this. But they don't. Um, and I appreciate that. But yes, modders will make the game better. Because they always do. That's, what, uh, that's the best part. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, you're just giving modders a, a space a platform. platform. Yeah. So yeah. I guess you just got to wait a couple months for all the big titty mods to hit. I mean, a couple months. You're going to get that in a couple days. That's true. You're right. Spaceships are just <laughs> Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, looking for, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be fun. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, was, I think I like this a little more. Summer Game Fest, I think the, that showcase was on the bottom. Uh, if you're ranking them. Oh, like just the three? Yeah, the three. Sony. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah. There wasn't much there, unfortunately. Well, it's, but. yeah, why, I feel like if, if Jeff's show is first, the only reason you give him something is to tease to your show, uh, and maybe they didn't want to chop it up that much, mm -hmm. but yeah, uh, I, I wonder about the, like the practicalities of that. How is Jeff gonna, gonna make the case that you have to give him your reveals when you can just do them yourself That's right. and then put your own products around it instead of just begging him for the opportunity to speak to the audience you already can reach. It's true. Yeah. yeah, but uh, good. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, it is a bunch of like money getting burned to entice us. So that's always fun. Yeah, I always uh, I always love seeing piles of money on fire for my delight and entertainment. For the consumer that is Lawrence Sontag. This is this is like peak consumer. This is this is consumer season. It's a celebration of consumer. And then we all get to shit on it. Yeah. After they spent millions of dollars exactly. making something, hundreds of people working hard, and we're just like, eh. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Uh, <laughs> no, it's good. It was fun. All right. Me, I had fun too. Yeah. Um, we're going to, uh, we should yeah, we stop up. and then we'll. Uh, it's time for PC, PC gaming. PC gaming, I think, is in one hour 